Hello everyone. For this episode, I invited uh, a female fashion designer, a young fashion designer who, who has a very uh, modern approach to fashion. She graduated from a business course, but she's pursuing her love for fashion. Please welcome Miss Jenica Castro. We thank you, Alam ko, medyo busy, with, especially with family, but then thank you for saying yes to this inter interview. <laughs> anyway, Nika, uh, you are considered as one of the most promising young designers of this generation. Can you give us a background of your of your career as a fashion designer. Thank you so much, Direk. Grabe. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, actually, Direk, um, medyo mahaba yung story. Pero uh, I actually started at a young age. Um, mata pa lang ako. Uh, gusto ko na talaga maging designer. Um, I would dress up my Barbie dolls and then I would ask my mom and my grandma to make uh, clothes for my Barbie dolls. But then, um, they were super busy. So, ako na lang yung gumagawa. Naalala ko na upos yung mga pinag sa bahay kasi na ginugok ko. So, ayun. My grandma was a dress that young. And then, my mom naman, she likes to make clothes na then talaga. Um, during my high school days, uh, I was still very much into fashion. Um, I would cut out clothes and put them in my plan. And then, uh, when I went to my local college, I had to take up expert management. Because I cut my parents' 
prompted me to pitch. But I was still very uh, interested in cosplay. Dressing up in general. Of <laughs> oh. course, um, so gusto ko lang talaga mag outfit. <laughs> And then there was uh, when I went to one event, I told me, um, you can take a picture of my outfit. Tapos nagulat ako kasi nga, kasi nga to um to magbuta. Tapos he got my number and then I got a text from him um, a few days after. Ah, uh, he asked to buy a newspaper. Yun pala um uh, ko. Oh. I had no idea it was uh, Mr. J.R. Isaac. Ay! Oh, uh, kabatch, kabatch ko yun ng college sa San Beda. Oh. So, ayun, ayun direct. That was my first uh, feature in the newspaper. Um, hmm. Then after college, uh, I still didn't have any idea on the next. Um, I went abroad to accompany my grandparents. It was to, it, it was supposed to be for a short time, now, but I ended up staying for a year in the U.S. and Canada. Um, I was an intern um for my cousin at the U.S. and that's how um, that's where I learned um uh, marketing. Upon when I returned to the Philippines, um, they accepted the first job that was offered uh, to me as a property okay. investment consultant in Ayala land. And that's where oh. I learned sales naman for two years. Just <laughs> kung dami pinasok. Po, ang dami, di ba, direct? Um, tapos, um, ayun, I still thought something missing. Um, the one that I really wanted to do was a kid, uh, which is fashion aspect. So, yeah, I started that one with my job, and then I enrolled in the School of Fashion and the Arts. So, this is a post graduate year, which is fashion design and art. So, that's where I'm going to do it. Yes, so that's where I met Mr. Richard Pop. Then, um, mm-hmm. ayun, I interned for him during my last semester in school. Then um he got me to where I am today. And then that's how I met you direct. And then one thing led to another and ayun po. <laughs> ayun. Ang dami pa lang pinagdaanan ni Ika. Grabe. From your course to fashion, iba rin. Eh. Tapos ngayon, aside from being a fashion designer, you also work with Shiseido, no? How do you reconcile your work in makeup retail and creating clothes for your own line? Um, yes, probably, I actually work with Shiseido as a manager for the stage events. Um, as far as the retail, Shiseido will tend to get the and Fashion 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 and I want to take direct as fun, bold, and modern. Um, actually, um, inspired by the seventies and eighties vibe. <laughs> I also get my inspiration from music. Oh, okay, music. Ah, trabaho namin yun. Hindi ba direct? Okay. Now you have a vid. A vivacious personality. Do you think it is an asset as a fashion designer? Why do you say so? Um, I think I think it's a positive thing, correct? Uh, because uh, if you are a designer, um, you deal with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And also Okay. So, kumbaga, ina-adjust mo yung sarili mo sa industriya. Oo, oh, or hindi, hindi din po eh. <laughs> 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 Nagalun na po talaga 
talaga ako. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi kasi di ba kailangan sa industry natin masayahin, uh, very positive positive attitude. So nadadala mo yun is very, very obvious. And I think for me, ha, for me, yes, it is an asset. Your asset kasi approachable. You know, yung ganun eh. Kailangan approachable lang isang designer, di ba? Yung madali makausap, hindi snobbish, di ba? Sa panahon ngayon, ganun na ngayon, ha? di ba? And then, <laughs> kanino mo naman, kanino mo naman, kanino mo naman ma-attribute itong love mo para sa fashion? Kanino? Sino? Is there any particular person na... I think you're I got it from my mom. My favorite part of the fashion show is when I get to dress up. Oh, you know. But I also think um, my major inspiration came from that sponsor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so so mi circo. Sorry, sir. Kasi dancer po talaga siya next part. Oh. Ayun. Um gusto ko rin talaga siya simula nung bata pa lang ako. Kasi nga parang pag pinapanood ko siya ang seta. Si Betsy Johnson, no? masaya lang naman, tsurang matanda na, di ba? Anyway, matanda na pero pag nag Pag nag-BS siya, direct, di ba? Oo, oh, 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 oh. nakita ko yung shop niya sa San Francisco. Nakita ko yung shop niya sa San Francisco. Ang ganda, nakakatuwa. One of those fancy shops in San Francisco. Yeah, pinuntahan mo. Pinuntahan ko yun. Pinuntahan ko yun. Tapos, eh, ano, Nika, ang linya mo, young and sexy, no? Sa so, tingin mo ba, yung mga babae ngayon should be more experimental and daring in terms of clothes they should wear. Masabi mo nga, woman of today, no? describe mo ba? Ano ba dapat ang babae sa panahon ngayon? Um, um senior most of the life uh, is the most rewarding okay tapos <laughs> may kakilala kita talagang mahilig ka sa mga babaeng damit no? mahilig kang gumawa kita mo sa fitting firm mo nga lang sa likuran mo pang babae pero would you be daring enough to venture into menswear Direct. I would love. Uh, I would love that. I think I'm open to anything, and I'd love to do that. Maybe. But not yet now. Hindi pa. Not yet. Hmm. Nika curious ako, yan ba sa Shiseido na pinagtatrabahuan mo? Ba yung mga lalaki bumili, bumibili din para sa kanila? So, meron? Meron talaga? May market? Yes, meron. Ah, okay. Anyway, Mika, hanggang kailan mo nakikita ang sarili mo bilang fashion designer? What about if you're special, someone proposes marriage? Ipopursong pa rin ba ang pagiging fashion designer mo kahit may asawa ka na? <laughs> Alam mo naman, marami yung gitera. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, there, I don't see any problem with that. And I'm very passionate about the passion. So I think I will still do it forever. So supportive naman si Xavier sa'yo. Oh, oh doon nakikita naman namin, super supportive talaga. Okay. Oh, na-mention, na-mention pa natin siya, kailangan papanoorin mo siya dito. <laughs> <laughs> At 
dapat si Chica na nanonood din. And, and, and yung parents ko, supporting <laughs> mm-hmm. me. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I met everybody. So, nakakatuwa kasi very supportive, lalo na si father. Di ba, napaka-supportive. And then I saw, for the information of everyone, ako mismo nakita ko gano'ng pa-supportive ang boyfriend ni Nika. Nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa. Imagine may photoshoot ka na eh. Siya yung magdadala ng ganito. In charge sa pagbibihis ni Nika. <laughs> Di ba? Nakaka- nakakaaliw. Nakakaaliw si Savior actually. Tapos Nika, ano, paano may encourage ang young fashion designers um, to just go on despite the hard times? Um... It's uh, very difficult now, but uh, it will not be like this forever. So, oh, no, 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 no. Sige, sige, go, go, go. Go. Because last year, um, That's how we started last cut in the middle of the pandemic last year because um, we took the opportunity to sell good masks and then um, at the Uh-oh. same time give to our frontliners and to someone in need. Oh, thank you pala ha. Yeah, pinadala nyo ako, di ba? Thank you. Ayun, welcome direct. Uh, ayun, last year kasi direct, di ba? There was a shortage of masks here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Um, pinag namin yung opportunities. Natutumulong, no? Okay, okay. Okay, oh, I'm sure aware naman tayo na medyo sana, papawala na yung pandemya, gumaganda na ang, 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 ang numbers natin sa cases and recoveries. Ano ang fashion forecast mo for the years to come in terms of color, fashion style, whatsoever? Ano sa tingin mo, saan, papu- saan pupunta ang, ang fashion generally, ah, hindi lang sa Pilipinas, generally? Um, for the fashion for the spirit, I think we are still um, put together but with minimal effort. So, mm-hmm. uh, diplomatic dressing will still be in. Um, but with a test of uh, vibrant color in terms of uh, shoes, bags, and accessories. So, accessories. Color, yes. For the color naman, uh, it will be um, warm neutral and earthy green. Okay. Yung, okay. Yung, huling, yung huling sinabihan mo na virtual, napansin ko talaga, it, the fashion is very now. Uh, for everybody's information, Nika was part of, uh, Jenica was part of the RTW virtual show. You can refer to the video in my YouTube channel and you can see her fashion, no? Yung Flores de Mayo, medyo ano yun eh. Flores de Mayo, di ba? Uh, yun naman talaga, may fashion naman for that. But when, when, when you showed your own fashion in the RTW virtual show, makikita nyo kung ano ang fashion ni Nika. I call her Nika. It's her nickname, Jenica, Nika. So, uh, I, do, you, do you research? Nagre-research ka ba? Tumitingin ka ba? Paano mo? Kasi na, nagulat ako dun sa nilabas mo. Uh, parang nakikita ko siya ngayon. Merong, kasi kung baga, nauna ka, di ba? Nauna ka doon, no? I'm not, I'm not exaggerating things, no? But I saw for myself, yung ginawa ni Nika na damit, pinalabas namin nung, ano ba yung July? Ano ba yung July, no? Yung RTW? July ba yun or August? O August, August kasi July to immense wear. And then, when I saw some shows on YouTube, at saka sa, may mga nakikita ko mga videos, ganun. Ganun lumalabas yung medyo sexy, daring. Um, paano? Nag-research ka ba? O do you do research? Yes, yes Dindek. I think very important talaga to do research then before you make a collection. So, mm-hmm. 
uh, research and then yung mood board. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yan, tutunan mo yan sa sofa eh, no? At least they taught you well, no? Oh, so uh, any mm, sige tuloy tuloy I'm I'm super grateful for uh, all the people that helped me along the way and so ayun especially uh, ayun po direct um, uh, my and all my other mentors so, so and, um, designers and especially my family 